Welcome to the brand new Azon Review Finder software. This is the new software program we've added to the version 4 release of Amosuite. And the, the, general, the main purpose of this software is to extract reviewer information. And this comes in real handy for when you're an Amazon seller and you need someone to review your product. So this, this is really powerful and um, there's actually not, nothing like this online yet from what I've seen that offers this kind of versatility. So you're going to be really impressed on the data that this software can extract and it's going to be really helpful for you as an Amazon seller. Even as an Amazon affiliate, you can use this product, sorry, you can use this software to find um, products that have high reviews from top rated reviewers. Because it's well known that if you have a really good review, especially a video review, then that product tends to sell a lot better. So it only makes sense as an Amazon affiliate that you try to promote products that are being reviewed a lot, especially with video reviews. That means your conversions will be higher and you'll get more money from your Amazon sites. So let's dive right in. So that there's two, it's kind of like almost like two products in one here. So it actually extracts from the top ranked section inside of Amazon. I'll show you that in a second. And you can also extract reviewers from products that you import in here. And you can get those imported products from one of the other software programs in Amosuite, uh, namely the Product Inspector or the Top 100 Analyzer. And I'll get into that in just a minute. So let's go ahead and quickly go through the features. So the first thing I wanna show you is how to extract the top ranked reviewers. So if you actually go into Google and type Amazon top ranked, you will, or top ranked reviewers, you'll go to this page here. And this is where the data is originating from. You can see here that they show you the top 10,000 reviewers on Amazon. Actually, this is .ca, but um, if we go to .com, currently we have .com and the UK integrated into the software. So we may integrate more in the future. But so you can see here, this is where the data will be coming from. <clears throat> let's go ahead and let's just extract. You can see there's a, there's 10,000. Uh, reviewers top 10,000 so that's 1,000 pages that have 10 reviewers on them so that's a thousand pages we can extract here let's just extract let's say one to to five for now so it's going to there and it's extracting that information and as you can see there's a bunch of information here that is hasn't been extracted yet so all that's done so far we've got the rank the site the reviewers name the amount of reviews they've given, the number of reviews that have helpful votes, so basically the number of helpful votes they've got. So every time someone does a review on Amazon, other people can vote on that review. And so if that review was helpful, then someone would vote that review as being helpful. And so this number tells you, okay, well, how many percentage of votes were helpful? 96% was helpful for this particular reviewer. And then fan voters um, is only available through the, I think it's just amazon.com, but you can see it here, the explanation is basically, um, uh, fan voters are people who consistently appreciate the author's reviews. It's kind of like a diehard fan, right? You know, let's say you love a fan page on Facebook and you're a diehard fan, keep going back and commenting and communicating with that fan page, it's the same idea. That's what fan voters are. These votes are not reflected in the total vote count and basically provides you with an unbiased, more accurate um, data. That's why we've included it as well. So if you have a lot of fan voters, you know, this one has 662 fan voters and they're ranked number four. Well, this one's ranked number 21. You know, anything that's ranked like, you know, top 1,000 is amazing, right? Like, you know, there's 10,000 reviewers on that list. And sometimes it's going to be really hard to get in contact with some of these reviewers they may not want to review your product so that's where this comes in handy all this extra information so once you've got what you want you know if you want to you do some sorting in here let's say we only want to extract data for the fan voters that are over I don't know say a hundred something like that right so there's 17 in there we want to extract those but anyhow I'll just extract I'll just start extracting so once you have what you want in this list we click this extra button over here, extra, or sorry, extract more data. Now it's gonna go through one by one and extract this data. So let me explain what this is all about. So it's gonna get the email address, the website, location, interests 
of that particular reviewer, which is really important. Let's say you're selling a TV in electronics. You obviously want to find a person that does electronics reviews or reviews for electronics. And this column here tells you whether or not the reviewer has left a video review for the past 10 reviews they've given. So you can see this particular person here has given a video review in the last 10 reviews. That's huge. When you have a product online, you want, a, sorry, when you have an Amazon product you're selling on Amazon, you want to have a video review. That will dramatically increase your sales. So now you have the ability to find these people that give video reviews. And then this last column is also awesome, like so awesome. Chris Guthrie really wanted this into the software, so I got it built in. What this is telling you here is that uh, this gives you the average ratings that the reviewer has given in the past 10 reviews they've given. I know that sounds confusing, but it's basically this. The last 10 reviews that reviewer has given, what's the average review rating they're giving these products? Because think about it, you want to contact reviewers that are naturally giving higher reviews because you want a positive review on your product, right? So now you have the ability to sort by um, the highest average review rating given by this reviewer in the last 10 posts they've done. And you can see whether or not they left video reviews. And you can see the interests. And to top it all off, well, guess what? You can contact them by using their email or you can alternatively go to their website and they'll probably have a contact form on their website. All right, so here we go. We're all, we're all done with that list. But now we can sort by emails. And let's say I just want to deal with the ones like, look at this, like the average rating. The last 10 ratings this particular individual has done has been all five. So let's take a look at their, their uh, profile. You can see all of them are all five, 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 five. five. And they've given a video rev have they given any video reviews? Let's see. Uh, no, they haven't. Not in the last 10 anyways. If you s you'll see a video review here. It just says this just says reviewed. So if you actually look at one that has done a video review, let's see this one here. You will see there should be oh there we go. Video reviewed right here. <clears throat> so all that information is coming from their profile. You could see, you know, if if they provide the information, it's extracted. So you can see here a lot of them have NA, meaning not available. Now that doesn't mean the software is broken, it just means that the actual reviewer hasn't uploaded that information within their profile. So it's impossible to extract something that doesn't exist. <clears throat> so anyhow, what's really cool now you can sort here and um, you can just right click, you can copy all the emails in this list just like that and you can you can right click and paste it in a text file. There's so many different options you can do here. Um, let's say you wanted a list, so you can you can you can right click, um, select all name, names and emails. So let's just delete all that. Right click and paste. And now you got the name and a com with a comma separating the name and the email. So now you can use like an email um, autoresponder or something like that, or even use. I guess like Gmail or something to contact these people. I suggest contacting them personally one at a time. Like don't be throwing all this into a list and doing a mass, a mass mail. That's not going to work. These are uh, real professionals that want to review your product. So contact them professionally and uh, ask them for a review. You know, they may want your product or um, a sample of your product or something like that. So go ahead and do it that way. You can also save your data. You, can, you save emails to text. You save names and emails to text. You can save this data as a common delimited value, so you can open it up in like Excel or um, you know the Open Office Calc free program. So anything, any spreadsheet. You can save this to a text file. You can save it to an interactive HTML file, and you can preview that file by hitting the preview button. And so this gives you a quick little, um, same as as the other software tools. You can quickly look through here, and you can see all the interests, and you can also uh, sort. You can do instant search in here as well. So you can even sell these reports if you'd like, say on Fiverr or something like that, similar with all the other software programs. And to save that file, just click Save and go to Export HTML uh, Report there and save it. And as with the other software tools, you have this awesome feature at the bottom, Open Last Working Folder. 
I can't tell you how much it annoys me when I get software and I save a file and I got to go hunting around my computer because I can't remember where I saved it. Like I can't even count how many times I've done that. So I got fed up with that and I added this feature to all the software. So you just click that and the software knows where you just saved that, that file, your last file you saved. It goes right to that folder for you in the Explorer browser so I can immediately see where I just saved that file. So I love that feature. That's why I put it in there. And you can uh, you can save to a project file. Now a project file is an Azon Review Finder project file. It can only be opened by this software. So if you save this here, let's just save it, different name. You can only open it up in here. Let's go ahead and open that other one. You can see you can load the project or you can append it. So let's append the other one that was saved in there. And now we have a thousand reviews in here, a thousand customers, sorry, a thousand reviewers. <laughs> Another really wicked feature in here is the instant search. So you can click instant search and this is really handy and you know you don't want to be wasting your time. You've got to find those reviewers right away to get those reviews up so you can start making some money or you know finding um, reviewers that do certain products so you can promote them as an affiliate. Start typing in here. Let's say I only want to deal with reviewers that um, review uh, stuff with electronics. So type in electronics. And look at that, went from 1,000 down to 86, and now I can just right click and copy those emails and um, start contacting those people. I can even right click and copy names and emails and start co contacting them that way. And here we go, we got all these people just like that. We can contact and ask them if they want to review our product. So extremely powerful, very, very powerful. And as with the other software tools, we also implement, implemented the filters. So if you click open the filters, Let's just delete this out here. And so with the filters, you can use the uh, one-click filters from the top. You can just click the drop-down menu and select what you want. And you can see the automatically go into the filter window. So you quickly do what you want there. And then if you want to save your filter file, you can go ahead and save it like that. Filters 2. We can delete filters with the old delete button there, or you can actually go to remove, remove all filters there. Lots of different little options. So let's say you're in a hurry, you already have a filter file you like using all the time for your data. You just click the filter file button, load it up, and boom, it's already in. You can see the columns automatically change color for each column that's filtered. Or you can right click inside the data grid and just select load filter file, just like that. And to manually put in filters is really simple. You just simply uh, click into the column, select the column you want to do filtering on. Let's say, for example, reviews. I want to see reviews that are greater than, I don't know, 5,000. Click apply, and boom, just like that. So filtering is extremely simple, really fast, and very efficient. <clears throat> you also have a few other options here. So let's say um, I'm going to right click and I want to do some more research on this particular reviewer. So one way you can do that is select search name on Google. So it's going to take that person's name, the reviewer's name, and go to Google and do an exact match search. So now I have the ability to check out their Facebook page, do a little research here if there's got any data, can't see anything there. Um, they actually did some review on TripAdvisor, you know, you kind of dig in and see some other stuff this particular reviewer was doing see if it matches your particular niche you can also go right click and you can search Google for their email now this tends to be a little bit more um, kind of targeted research because then you can really see but you can see that this particular reviewer is not using their email anywhere else but on Amazon so those are two extra really cool features you can also um, you know like I showed you before you can select um, the review links or copy the selected item so uh, you can select anything you want and just right click and just so copy selected items and so you can just right click and paste that into some text document it doesn't matter what column you're in you can actually just select it and you can do control C on your keyboard and it'll automatically just um, if we go file paste it'll paste in that so that's handy 
when you got to get like say you want to get these emails real quick you can just select that control C and boom you got them or you can actually just click one of the emails and it'll bring up your default email program whatever you use you Google Chrome I'm using Windows 8.1 so that's why you're seeing this little thing it'll be, it'll be different for different windows but whatever your default emailer is you just click that it'll just bring it up and so now you can contact that particular person now if you'll see some places will have a website address no email but they have a website address so let's just take a look if you go to this person's e uh, link here you know they may have an email in here somewhere uh, there it was I just saw it right there so save more souls at yahoo.com you get you know here's Donald Mitchell another link there to go to about me I'm not seeing any email here in particular my web page so you can see how quick you know you can get in and, and join their newsletter and see if you can get a uh, hold of this particular individual so it's just another way of uh, contacting people that may not have an email in here but have a website so usually there's a way of contacting them now if you go to their website another really cool thing is look for a Facebook um, like profile or contact or something like that and go to their Facebook page and just message them in fact uh, when we we're looking at that other individual using Google we found their Facebook page like say for example like this particular individual let's go ahead and search their name on Google and usually on Google will tell you whether or not they have a Facebook um, account and if you don't see it then the very top just type in Facebook and see what comes up if I could type there we go let's remove that underscore in their name and see it doesn't look like this particular person has a Facebook profile but you get the idea so lots of different ways to contact these people you know just gotta use Google and use the data you have in here so the next thing I want to show you is the products um, option here and before I do show you that I do want to just um, stress something here you know you can instead of you know diving into uh, like the first five pages you can actually go like you know the 500 page to like the you know 550 page something like that and kind of get in between the you don't want to go after those people that are top ranked they may not you know promote your product if you want to dig in the middle somewhere you can do that now if you'd like you can actually extract the entire list now I have to warn you it takes a long time to download 10,000 reviewers I did it myself on my computer I have a pretty fast computer and a fast internet connection and it took around uh, I'm gonna guess around four maybe even five hours to do everything so it does take a long time and that's why I made this um, this ability to search between whatever pages you want um, you can only do a maximum 1000 if you start sticking like 5000 or something it automatically goes down to 1000 so you can't stick in letters or nothing like that in there either so just just numbers so that's in there as well so you can dig anywhere you want within the top 10,000 for both Amazon and Amazon uh, the UK site so let's clear that out now what I want to show you here is the uh, products so as you know with Amazon so if, let's see if we just go to Amazon here um, I'm running out of windows let me just I guess bring up a new window and go to Amazon and let's search for a product I don't know iPod click on the first one you'll notice that there's 2730 customer reviews here well it'd be uh, it's really handy to be able to um, extract reviewer information for people that left reviews for products and we've integrated that into this software so all we have to do is we have to enter in product links and so and one thing you can do as well is you can extract so you set the number of reviewers you want to extract per product so it can be all the way up to all of them I don't suggest doing all of them because imagine doing 2,000 for one product and you got like a hundred products <laughs> you'd be here forever so I usually do like five or ten let's just stick with five and you can extract them by uh, the most helpful product reviews or the newest product reviews so you got your option there and as you can see inside of this particular product you have that option here uh, usually to give you see this, this is the most helpful reviews 
a list at first there but um, so next thing you want to do is you want to get some product links in order to re extract reviews from so you have to click this and then you got to enter in your product review links in here so the best way to do that is by using one of the other software programs either the Amazon of uh, the Azon top 100 analyzer or the product inspector so let's try both so do product inspectors type in 3d TV and click go and we'll just get one just a little bit here that's good enough and then over here let's do the Amazon top 100 analyzer and let's just go best sellers in the I don't know beauty category subcategory skincare let's grab some of those okay stop that so let's sort by reviews here and you know there's tons of reviews for these particular products so say I want to get the reviewers for these products because maybe I'm selling something to do with skincare or I'm gonna promote something as an affiliate so we um, we simply just select how many you want let's just select maybe four and we right click and we can select copy selected product links okay so do that and now go over to the review finder and we can click the paste button and we put them in like that also the same thing goes with the product inspector you can sort by reviews if you'd like so I'm going to sort there And you can do the same thing you can right click and select copy product links like so and then we can go ahead and uh, you know right click and paste them into here but I don't want to put too many in there it's just maybe do something like that and you click go and so now the software is magically going out and it's grabbing the top five reviews for each product and the, it's extracting the most helpful product reviews at the moment so you can see down here it's going through each product and it's giving you the reviewer for each uh, for each product there so it does take a while but it's actually extracting all the data so you don't have to do an extra extraction like we did with the other tool so we've got everything here you got the rank the site reviewer now the one thing you will not have with this particular uh, uh, option here you will never get the fan voters the fan voters are just not available within the uh, reviewers profile so that's impossible to get it's only available within the top ranked option here and I think it's actually only available for the .com and not the UK site as well anyhow it does provide awesome information that's why we included it it's just not included for this particular um, uh, feature here in the software so stop here so it's the same as before you know we got all this awesome data now we got emails and websites and interests and what they've done in the last 10 reviews if they do videos or not all the good stuff is all in there and again we can do a quick you know quick search electronics so pretty cool so this is a really really powerful extra feature we've added in here so this is basically it everything else is pretty much self-explanatory you know saving and loading and uh, there's not much more to show in this software but you're gonna love it especially as an Amazon's Amazon seller and also as an Amazon affiliate thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video